Sure, these pups are precious, but it doesn't mean these pooches don't have problems. When we leave the house, he, he gets really nervous that we're not coming back, so he tears something up. I have an English Bulldog, and I have two Scottish Terriers, and the only issue I have is the English Bulldog is extremely hard to house train. Well, Chevelle is mostly unsociable with people and other dogs. She's very skittish. She runs away and whines and hides like she is now. Aggression is a big issue. Um, separation anxiety, things like that. And I'll go to their house and I'll consult with them. I'll teach them better ways to interact with their dog. Ryan Andre is an animal behaviorist. Through his company, The Dog House, he teaches pets and their owners how to banish bad behavior. If I just take the dog and train, train the dog myself then it goes back to the owners and it falls into the same pattern because they need to learn how to how to you know read their dogs communication better you know they need to be able to to understand what their dog is actually trying to say so how do you know what your dog is trying to say when the barks all sound the same to you you basically learn how to uh, read a dog's body language I mean that's how they really communicate so for example my dog you know would be wagging his tail and I thought that meant he was you know was in, was happy but Oh, sometimes a tail wag means that they're high arousal and they're about to fight. So you have to look at ear, you know, their ear posture and things like that. This video shows an extremely food aggressive dog, but by slowly getting him used to a fake hand, he learned not to snap at fingers near his food. You have to be able to decipher one from the other and put a plan together that's going to work for that dog specifically. So next time you're confounded by the complexity of your canine, remember, an animal behaviorist can teach an old dog new tricks.